Back to the first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan. Air quality was the big story of the day. It's now smoke mixed with fog across the Bay Area this evening. That smoke being directed towards us by northerly winds along the coast, sending the smoke in from southwestern Oregon and far northern California, resulting in that severe deterioration of our air quality. Future cast models definitely pick up on the concentration of smoke over so much of the Bay Area this evening. Here's the good news. Things are slowly going to improve. Now, the bad news is it's going to be slow. Still plenty of smoke lingering in the atmosphere overhead on Wednesday, but it should be a little more more dispersed by Wednesday afternoon, and it should be more dispersed than that as we head through the day on Thursday. So a slow improvement over the next couple of days, but I still think the smoke is going to be concentrated enough to at least set us into the unhealthy for sensitive groups category for some of the same spots that had the worst air quality today. San Francisco and Oakland, inland in the East Bay, and for much of the North Bay. We'll be updating this as we get more data. We're going to continue evaluating this as the entire situation evolves. At least our temperatures aren't hot to go along with the smoky conditions. That was the case a couple of years ago, but let's take a look at our current temperatures as they stand right now. We've dropped down into the 60s across most of the Bay Area. It's exactly 60 degrees in Los Gatos. You're a little bit ahead of the pace in terms of how much you're cooling off. A little bit behind the pace where temperatures were warmer earlier today. Antioch still holding on to the low 70s. You made it up into the mid 80s earlier today. Down to below 60 degrees already for Half Moon Bay. It's one of only a couple spots already dropping down into the upper 50s. The others in the North Bay, the other location in the upper 50s already down to 57 degrees in our usual cool location in Petaluma. Everybody's going to join you in the 50s by early tomorrow morning. Some of the coolest locations will be in those North Bay valleys tend to just gather a little bit more of that cool air. Let's take a look at the fog forecast for tomorrow morning and fogs can be fairly widespread, pushing into some of the inland valleys and again to be jumbled up with that wildfire smoke. So that makes it a little bit more stubborn, a little more reluctant to dissipate because it's reflecting the sun's energy once the sun comes up. But we should see improving visibilities as we head towards late morning. The haze on the horizon is going to be tough to shake and we have to track an elevated wildfire threat tomorrow night. Wind gusts are going to be picking up not during the daylight hours, although there'll be a noticeable wind and onshore wind, which is a good thing that's going to happen tomorrow afternoon, but those winds, especially in the North Bay Mountains, are going to pivot and become northerly. The strongest winds tomorrow night are really going to be in the highest elevations, not in the communities of the North Bay. So you can see those areas kind of highlighted in a darker shade of red, indicating the potential for some 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. You combine that with low humidity levels and that does elevate the fire threat. Farther down the line, we actually have a chance of showers in the forecast. It's towards the tail end of the seven day forecast, but just another complicating factor in the entire forecast. So let's take a look at temperatures for tomorrow. Again, this is the good news. We don't have to deal with any hot weather to go along with the diminished air quality. Temperatures inland in the North Bay topping out in the mid to upper 70s, running a few degrees below average. Closer to normal for San Francisco and Oakland, hovering right around 70 degrees with temperatures into the 70s down the peninsula in Redwood City. Temperatures in the South Bay right around 80 degrees in San Jose. Most of the Santa Clara Valley mid to upper 70s to around 80. The warmest locations won't be all that warm. Again, it's the air quality. It's going to be a bigger deal. Temperatures inland in the Tri Valley and the Delta only hitting the low to at worst mid 80s. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and we're not going to see much temperature change over the next seven days. Inland parts of the Bay Area going to be hovering right around 80 degrees. Now that rain chance. For in the parts of the Bay Area, in the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley, it's not going to be much of a rain chance late in the seven day forecast, but it is going to be a bigger deal for the North Bay. We'll keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the forecast around the Bay and you do have a better chance of rain towards the tail end of the seven day outlook. We're talking about the last day here on Tuesday and I love how the little raindrops accumulate on our forecast tube here in the seven day forecast. We're talking to light rain showers and it's lower than a 50 50 chance but it's still the first even decent chance of showers that we have seen so far in the fall season and fall isn't officially here yet. Same thing along the coast. You have a slightly better chance of some of those showers holding together by Tuesday. It's a week away. We'll keep you updated, but it gives us something to look forward to while we're enduring another day of not so good air quality on Wednesday.